Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have a laptop. This one is an ASUS laptop, model number X543B. This one comes with an AMD A9 processor with an 8 gig memory, RAM, and one terabyte mechanical hard drive. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to clean up the heatsink and the fan and repaste the CPU. So, what you want to do, you want to flip it over, grab yourself an opening tool. Uh, in this case, I'm using an iFixit tool set. And we're going to use bit number zero, which I have it right over here. And we want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. All right. The back two middle ones are the longest one. The corner back ones are the medium size and the rest, the front end, they are the short ones. Once you removed all the screws, what you wanna do, you wanna open up your laptop in 45 degree angle and you wanna grab yourself an opening tool. In this case, I'm using a guitar pick. You wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like this. And now you wanna just wiggle it around. You wanna hear some clicking. to the sides. All right. Now, once you got the front and the sides open, you can just open up a little bit, not too much, because we gotta remove this flex cable for the touchpad and the keyboard flex cable right there. So in order to remove it, what you wanna do, you wanna put your finger right by the white cover right here and just lift up in 90 degrees, just like that and then pull the cable out. Same thing on the back one, but it's just that colored black. Lift up the black cover, and then slide out the ribbon cable. There's your palm rest. Now down here, we can see the fan right here, and it's really dirty. That's one dirty fan, so that's why the airflow it starts going bad. What you need to do, grab yourself a uh, old or new uh, toothbrush. So what we need to do right now here first is to disconnect the battery. So lift up the battery from this side. There's an adhesive tape at the back. Lift up a little bit while you can hold it. And then you want to twist it. Just scoop it out from this side, just like that. And the battery will come out. Next, remove the flex cable for the bridge. Lift up the, this thing the same way that you remove the keyboard. Slide it out. Disconnect this audio cable. Just pull it out. I don't like yanking on the cables. I yank on the corners of the jack instead of pulling on the cables. Same thing here, disconnect the fan cable. It's very hard, but you have to use your fingernails. There. So pretty much I'm just pinching these two corners and just hope pulling it out. You have to pull really hard on that. We're going to remove the fan by removing one and two screws. I believe there's one more screw down here, so it's holding it. It's not coming out. Let me see if the camera is on my way. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove the motherboard. So we're going to remove the motherboard. We're going to remove all the screws right here. They are pointing with a white arrow. Also, we want to remove this screw right here. There's a warranty tape on it. Remove that one. All right. Also, we need to remove the Wi-Fi board. Remove one screw right there. And then just lift up a little bit and pull out the Wi-Fi board. You don't need to disconnect the cable. And you don't need to disconnect the... Uh, a screen cable right there just lift up and switch over and right here you can see this puny heatsink that they have over here it just cooled down by this fan it goes through the 
wave here and it just goes through there. So what we want to do, we don't have to clean up anything here. We just have to repaste. To repaste, remove the four screws. There we go. And then you can just lift up the heat sink. And there's your old thermal paste. So what you want to do, you want to just go ahead, grab an alcohol and a towel. I'll leave the link in the descriptions. It's a working towel. And what you want to do, you want to just clean up the CPU die. Just rub it. You don't need to clean up the around it or anything like that. It's unnecessary. And uh, clean up the heat sink. All right, now grab your new thermal paste. And if I know where I put my thermal paste, that'll be really good. All right, grab your new thermal paste and you just wanna apply a little bit, drop right in the middle of the die. Grab the heat sink. I just bend the legs a little bit backward to give a little, little more tension towards the motherboard, just a slightly. And then align it right over. Don't lift it up once you put it down. And the screws might, they have to go, you're gonna cross stitch them. So put one side down a little bit. And put the other side, the opposite side. Now tighten these two screws. And put the rest. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use an air can to clean up this uh, fan and with a toothbrush I'm just going to clean it up a little bit like this and then blow the air and I'll be back. Alright, there we have it. Now I clean up the fan, look how clean is that. So what we want to do right now, we want to twist it again because we don't need to remove the flex cable for the LCD. Twist it this way or the other way around, you don't want to over twist it. And then you want to put down the I.O. side right there. Make sure there's no cable right underneath. Now that you have it in 45 degree angle right here, you want to stick down the Wi-Fi board, slide it right in the jack and bring it down. Put the black screw for the Wi-Fi board. The flat screw right here goes right where the star is. There's a tiny star shape right there and put the rest of the white arrow on the motherboard this is screw right here is a little bit of thicker one so the the rest is are like a little skinnier so the skinny one won't go in there it just comes out the thick one goes right there And put the one right there. Is it me or was this missing? Or was if I roll back on the video, I don't see any more screws down here. And I am missing one screw here. So let me know in the comments if I, I Am I missing one screw here? Or well, there's a one screw right here. There should be a screw right on every one of these arrows. And this one doesn't need a screw, but there's no arrow here. But I am missing a screw for the fan right here. It's not necessary, but it, it would have been nice to have it there, I guess. I can just find another screw, put it in there. Unless I lost a screw which I doubt it. There I found a screw that was lying around in my shop. So we're going to place this one screw that is missing. I'm going to watch my video backward and to make sure that there was no missing screw. But this laptop was never opened before. Is it me that I lost a screw or is it actually coming with one less screw? So put back down the cables for the fan and the audio. You slide down the flex cable 
close the lock, grab the battery. You want to scoop down the battery from here, move the cable backward a little bit, slide it right there, and then put it all the way down. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab the palm rest, and you want to align the back end, put it in this position, 45 degree, and then you want to grab the cable for this, open up the lock for the keyboard flex cable, slide it from the back end all the way in, and hold it with one finger, just like this. I try to do it on the camera right there. I'm sliding it down from the back, and then with the other finger, I'm just gonna close the lid. Same thing for the flex cable for the touch. Slide it down underneath. Right there, and then close the cover. And there we go. And the last thing is to just pinch the front and the sides. Just go ahead and pinch them. You want to hear clicks. And push down the back end. And then close the laptop, flip it backward. Upside down and then put the long screws in the back, mid ones and the short ones. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like that, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or any requests, you know where to leave them. And thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video.